Hello, Keith Ruck here at VengeMachinery.org. Well guys, I'm gonna do a little something different this week uh, for my Monday video, and uh, I'm actually gonna do a tool review, and I don't really do too many of these, uh, but I decided to make a little bit of an exception with this. Uh, I was contacted a couple of weeks ago from uh, the folks at Edge Technologies, uh, who make all kinds of really cool uh, tools and what have you for the machine shop. And uh, uh, I have purchased, with my own money, several items from these guys over the years. Uh, they make a really cool product. Uh, they asked me specifically if, if they could send me a new tool that they've just released, which is uh, for tramming in a uh, vise on a milling machine. And uh, I said, yeah, that'd be great. So full disclosure here, uh, Edge is not a sponsor of my channel. I'm not receiving any money from them. I don't receive any kickbacks. If you guys go out and decide to buy this, uh, they did send me this item. Uh, for me to look at in the shop. Uh, it's mine to keep. Uh, but other than that, uh, I'm not receiving anything for doing this. Uh, I just like to throw that out so everybody knows up front uh, what the terms were. Um, and the only reason that I agreed to do this is because, again, I have been a customer of theirs in the past. I've always been very happy with the tools that, uh, that I have purchased uh, in the past. And um, I thought this was kind of a neat little tool that they have come up with. And it's a different take on tramming in a milling machine vise. I get a lot of, uh, I've done some videos on how I'd normally do this with just a test indicator. And I've received a lot of emails from folks and comments from folks, particularly home shop machinists who just have a difficult time doing this task for whatever reason. And uh, to me, this tool looks like something that we could aid in that process. And I wanted to give it a try. So anyway, I'm gonna get you over here. We're gonna unbox this thing and then set it up and uh, we're gonna tram in this, uh, this vise on my milling machine. So here's the box they sent in. This is the model 40-000 vise square, again, by edgetechnologyproducts.com. You can go to their website and uh, see their entire line of tools. Um, and let's open this up and see what it looks like. So they've got it in a uh, styrofoam box here. Oops. And nice form fitted. Pull it out with the vice square. And uh, here it is. So we're gonna go through the process of how to set this thing up. All right, so let's uh, use this tool to tram this vise in. So first thing I want to just mention is that this tool is made to use with a Kurt style uh, six inch vise. Uh, it may work with another style six inch vise, I'm not sure, but it was specifically designed to work around this particular vise. And I know this is a standard vise that a lot of people use. It's also made to use on a milling machine that has five eighths inch um, T slots in it, uh, which is gonna be most of your uh, vertical milling machines. So uh, I've got the vise on here. As you can see, it's not tight. I've just kind of got it down. I'm just gonna just barely snug these by hand. I'm not even tightening them. And we're gonna go ahead and set the tool in here. So uh, you need to open up the back jaw back here. And this will set down in your T-slots. Okay. And I'm making sure I got plenty of clearance back here in the back. Now, on here you got two little levers. There's one on the top and one on the bottom. This one tightens it, this one aligns the T-slot. So you turn this until it's, it crosses it. That just turns that little tab in the bottom and then you just tighten this thing down and tighten this uh, fixture in place. And we'll do that on both sides. So now we're gonna actually get the uh, vise pre-squared on here. So there is a, this bar across the back and this should be parallel to your slots or pretty close to it. It's not gonna be, perfect, but it's going to be close. I'm just going to run that up in there. And um, once I do get it up in there, we're just going to kind of square the vise up against it. 
Again, I'm gonna just tighten down, finger tighten down these uh, uh, bolts. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna back this off about an inch. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna give us room to further adjust this. We don't want uh, this coming in contact with it while we're doing our final adjustments. And uh, now we're gonna actually go to the indicators and get this uh, vise dead on. So again, this should be according to their uh, book uh, within a couple of thousandths. I'm gonna, there's a little cover here that on this indicator, it's pushed all the way back in there. I'm just gonna slide that over. And when I do, what's gonna happen is, is now the indicator is touching the fixed vise. And we're gonna put a test indicator in here. And I'm just using a stare at last word. Uh, you can use any test indicator you have. And I'm going to, let's see here. So we've got this in here and to zero this one, I'm just going to move it up using the, uh, the feed here on the, on the front. We'll zero that one, and we're gonna zero this indicator as well. Now, I'm gonna zoom in on these indicators and we're gonna do the final adjustment. So with both indicators on zero, I've got it zeroed right above this same area that we're uh, zeroed on the, on the, on the, the, the fixed vise. And we're gonna roll this out to the other end of the table. And we should be within a couple of thousandths of being square. And the way you know you're square is you're looking at that test indicator and seeing how far it's rolling off. And we get out, okay, we're then within five thousandths. So now we're gonna do our final adjustment here. Let me reposition the camera. And to do our final adjustment, what we wanna do is we wanna basically get both indicators reading the same value. It doesn't matter what that value is, we just want it reading the same value. So uh, I'm gonna, hopefully move this indicator this way and move this indicator backwards. You want them both going in the same direction, reading the same value, so uh, positive or negative. I'm just gonna take a little dead blow hammer here and uh, tap the vise around. And so I'm on two and four. I'm on three and four. Or excuse me, that's, I'm reading half thousandths. Okay, so that's three and about three and a half. So we're on about three and a half, and just a touch over three. Okay, that's pretty darn close to being the same on both indicators. And again, the needle is going in the same direction. And I'm going to now Snug this down, it's probably gonna cause that indicator to move just a little bit more. I'm just tightening it down. I'm not worrying about the indicator movement. I'm going to re-zero my test indicator at this point. I'm not paying any attention to this one now. We're gonna sweep it back across and it should be zero when we get back there. I sweep this across all the way and uh, we should be zero on both sides. And we're pretty dead on there. So I'm happy with that. You can see that was fairly easy to set up. Now, the way I normally do this is I just use a test indicator before I had this little tool and it's sweeping back and forth and there's a little bit of trial and error. Uh, I've become pretty good at it, but this right here really speeds this process up. So to remove the tool, we just uh, loosen up our T-slots. We uh, rotate these back around so that it'll come out and uh, we just pull it out. Now I'm gonna reset my, my indicator, get it back preloaded here. We'll slide that cover over and this is ready to store uh, to use next time around. So there you go guys, the Edge Technology Vice Square. Uh, it's a very well-built item here. Looks like it's a die-cast aluminum or something along those lines. Uh, as with all the Edge Technology stuff I've seen, it's, it's very high quality, well-built stuff. 
uh, and it looks like this is going to be a good useful tool to have around. Now, I will say this, you know, I've been uh, squaring up vices just using a, a test indicator for 25 years now. Uh, I've become pretty proficient at it. I can do it pretty quickly. But again, I hear from viewers all the time who tell me they have a hard time doing this, getting their minds wrapped around it. This tool here, I think, is, uh, is something that will definitely help uh, those beginners. Uh, one thing that I do really like about this tool is uh, this back piece in here that you can get that initial squaring on. Uh, because my traditional way of doing it is just throw it up on here and eyeball it, and a lot of times uh, I'm way off, and it just takes me a few times running, sweeping back and across that jaw to really get it close enough uh, that I can just uh, sweep it back and forth and, and make the adjustments. Uh, the other nice thing about this is, is that making those adjustments from one end to the other, that doing it the old fashioned way, that's something again, I've developed a, a, a just overdoing it so many times, I, I've developed a technique that works for me. It's hard to teach it to someone else as far as knowing how much to move it and bump it around. With this method, there's no doubt how much you're moving it because you can see both sides on an indicator at the same time. I think that's a big advantage and I think that that's something that's, that's gonna be very valuable, again, to someone who's particularly learning how to do this and, and um, has a difficult time doing it the other way. So I think this will be a good investment for most people, maybe not everybody, uh, but I see it as being something that I'm gonna probably be using uh, when I set up my vices uh, from now on. Uh, again, if nothing else, just getting that initial um, back side on there squared up, I think is, is really good. And quite honestly, for a lot of jobs, um, just putting it on there and getting it within 5,000, so that's probably good enough for many jobs that I do on the mill. And I'm the kind of person that my vice goes on and off the mill all the time. I know some people tell me that once they get their vice trammed in, they, they don't want to take it off. I have no problem taking this thing off, and probably half the jobs I use this vice on, half the jobs I either have no vice on the mill or a different vice on the mill. Uh, so I do this all the time, and this right here, I think it's going to open some doors to some people to not be so scared to take their vice off their mill uh, when they need to. So with that, go check out Edge Technologies. It's uh, edgetechnologyproducts.com have the uh, web address down here, and uh, you can go check this out, along with uh, their many other uh, very useful tools. Again, some that I have invested my own money in because I think they're worth doing that. So with that, we'll sign off. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll talk to you later.